already. Okay. Okay, this is Daisy, and we're going to be doing casting and lining on the five leg. Uh, the five leg is basically two three legs, two advanced three legs put together, uh, two short piles, a long pile up the middle, and uh, there's three short piles and two long piles. When we start this drill, we do the two long piles first, and we mark those with a gunner out in the field and we move up about half the distance and we gradually move our way back until the dogs get used to running about 120 yards which is what the long legs are. The short legs are probably about mm, 50 to 60 yards out there and we add those after they're proficiently doing the long legs and running the long legs from the starting point, both of them. And this is Daisy. Yep. Ideally what you like to do is you like to line the dog through your pattern first before you begin casting to make sure that they know the line. You wouldn't want to start casting. It wouldn't make any sense to start casting on this drill if the dogs did not know. Sometimes the dogs have a hard time with the long legs and looking up the middle two shorter legs. Yeah. So if they have trouble like that, we'll put big white markers out on the long legs. You'd also like a featureless field with short cover. I've got a road over here to the left that could complicate the drill a little more. I also have a terrace here that somewhat throws them off when we're first teaching the long leg. They would like to square that terrace which throws them into the middle leg. And this is a little bit tighter. This is a longer pattern and a tighter pattern than the three leg pattern that they're used to. Heel. 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 Back. How is she lined up? practice your lining to make sure that the dogs are properly aligned because the pattern is a lot tighter than the heel. 